Hello, everyone. So today we're going to introduce a very popular uh, large language model approach, which is called RAG. Uh, that stands for Retrieval Argumented Generation. So RAG is a very popular approach in large language models. So for example, in our previous tutorials, we used prompt engineering to ask OpenAI ChatGPT4 to analyze tweets and also give us a response like summary summarize the tweets and also have interactive uh, chat with uh, large language models so when we when our data goes like large like uh, when we have thousands of tweets uh, we are not able to pass all the tweets into the prompt and let the uh, large language model to process uh, and also when we every time if we uh, provide a huge amount of data in the prompt it also uh, cost our credits because many large language, large language models and they are charged by the tokens that have been processed. So that's why that in addition to the prompt engineering, REC is also a very popular approach to uh, identify the relevant information by using large language models. So REC often involves using uh, create embeddings and store the data into a vector database and also retrieve the relevant information and into our prompt. Uh, so first, so what is embedding? So and this is OpenAI documents that provide a very great visualization for embedding. So when we have a text, we can use uh, embedding models such as OpenAI uh, to convert those each single sentence or paragraph into a vector. So it is a multi-dimensional um, mathematical representation of those um, sentences or paragraphs. And when we convert those into vectors, so we saw that in a way that if the, the text has the similar uh, semantical meanings, they are located close to each other. Uh, so here, this is a very great visualization. So here we can see we have a, a 3D uh, vector space. And actually, in the real world, so we have thousands of the uh, vector dimensions. So here we can see that uh, the dots that with, with the same colors are the sentences that are talking about the similar topic. So uh, they are close to each other. So for example, uh, the orange dots are animals, so if we look at, uh, put our cursor to those orange dots, so we know that they are all talking about uh, different animals. And the purple dots are talking about transportation, so if we put the uh, our cursor, so you can see that uh, uh, each sentence is talking about uh, real, something that related to transportation. So that is embedding, so that we're convert our text message into those vector uh, space and also the messages of the text that has a similar semantic meanings they are close to each other so that is number one embedding and once we have embeddings we need to store those huge amount of like the the data in the vector space so numbers in different in multi dimensions uh, into a storage so there are many uh, databases that can store the vectors. So for example, you can use a relational database. Uh, in our case, we are using a MongoDB because MongoDB also support a vector search. So we can store the vector data uh, inside a collection in MongoDB. And the benefit is that, so for example, we have some uh, Twitter data. So it's already in the MongoDB uh, cluster. So we can save the, we can store the embeddings in the same collections of our Twitter data. So it will be um, much easier for us to retrieve the information. Okay, so MongoDB also uh, support very fast retrievers uh, from the vector data. So that is a vector uh, database. And then lastly, what is uh, RAJ. So this is also a chart that uh, by MongoDB that shows that how to use OpenAI and also vector data on MongoDB. 
to build a RAG or RAG system. So basically, we can see that we have the data, and we can use either uh, open AI embedding models or the other type of the large language models to create embeddings. And then we store our uh, our embeddings, like the vector data, into our MongoDB database. We can then build a vector search index. And then the user will provide new queries. So uh, first, we are going to convert the query using the same embedding model to a vector data. And then we can, con uh, we can perform a vector search to, to identify the similar uh, text messages from the data set. So you can see that we don't need to retain the entire uh, messages in our data set. In our case, are the tweets. So we just retrieve the most relevant tweets. And then we pass that along with other, the user queries into our uh, large language model. So this is a chat model. And the large language model will combine uh, the retained uh, relevant information from our database and use the queries to provide a very accurate and also relevant response. So that's a very brief introduction about the RAG uh, system. So uh, you can read those articles which I listed at the end of this uh, uh, notebook. Okay, so uh, first you need to have a, a MongoDB cluster. So we are using the free version. Uh, you also need to buy uh, OpenAI API key uh, or you can use other free uh, open uh, large language models. Uh, if you want to collect Twitter data, uh, you can check LB Social, and also we have uh, a lot of tutorials that teach you how to collect Twitter data. All right, uh, so next we're going to install uh, the two Python libraries. The first one is PY Mongo, and the second one is OpenAI. Uh, so PY Mongo will allow us to manage the MongoDB database, and we are using uh, uh, OpenAI to create embeddings and also to create a chat, so um, to communicate with users. Uh, we are going to, because we start our credentials in AWS Secrets Manager, so we are using this uh, Secret Manager to retrieve our credentials, uh, such as MongoDB uh, collection, connection string, and also OpenAI API key. Uh, next, we are going to retrieve the uh, credentials, uh, such as uh, OpenAI API key and also MongoDB connection string. And uh, now we are going to connect to our MongoDB database. So in my case, uh, I have a database called demo. And in that database, I have a collection called Twitter collection. So uh, I'm going to connect with that uh, database. Uh, so this is my uh, database. You can see that I have demo database where I have Twitter collection. Uh, before I create embeddings, I also made a backup of my Twitter data. So just in case that uh, something goes wrong and I still have my data. Uh, here I defined uh, three functions. The first one is called uh, clean tweet because uh, in the tweet messages, uh, people normally include the URLs and we don't want to use URLs. So we want to get rid of the URLs before we create uh, embeddings. And the second one is creating embeddings. So we are using OpenAI uh, to create embeddings. Uh, you can use different uh, embedding models on OpenAI. Uh, so in this case, uh, we are using the text embedding three small. And our last function is called a vector search. So uh, it will retain the relevant tweets based on the queries. Um, so here, so when the user uh, create a query, so first we're going to create a same embedding with the same get embedding function. And then uh, we are using this uh, vector search. So that is the aggregation pipeline where we are going to query our uh, tweet embeddings. And so here we define that we're going to query like the nearest 1,000 uh, tweet text. And then we just return the top 10 um, tweets. And in our return message, we are return the, uh, the, that single tweet, uh, the text of that single tweet. Okay, so let's 
uh, create those functions. All right. Uh, so now we are going to uh, create the embeddings. So for each single tweet, we're going to retrieve the tweet text, and then we will get the embeddings, and then we will update each single tweet document. So uh, for the tweet, we save the embeddings uh, to the tweet that with with the same uh, tweet ID. Okay. Uh, so you can see that I have uh, about 6,000 tweets, so it will take uh, several minutes to finish uh, this tweet embedding, so I'm going to pause the video here. All right, uh, you can see that uh, it takes like more than uh, 25 minutes uh, to create embeddings for those uh, 6,388 tweets. Um, uh, so again, so we cleaned the tweet text and we pass a clean tweet text which does not include your URLs uh, to this get embedding function and we receive the uh, tweet text embedding by using OpenAI um, and also we store that embed into the same tweet collection uh, so that uh, with the same tweet ID. Uh, so now if I go to my uh, MongoDB uh, database. So if I refresh, and I will see that for each single tweet, uh, I now have a new uh, field called embedding. So here you can see um, the embedding is like uh, 1536 dimensions of this vector. So it, which means that it's just a very long list that contains the numbers uh, 1000 and 536 and different numbers. Okay, um, and also the tweets that uh, that are in the close uh, positions are normally have the similar semantic meaning. Okay, uh, so next we're going to build this uh, vector index um, uh, so that we can enable the vector search on MongoDB. Um, Right now, so because I'm using the free tier, so I need to build this index uh, manually on MongoDB website or, or, or on MongoDB editors. And actually, I just got email this morning saying that MongoDB 8.0 will be available in November. And today is October 31st. It's the last day of October. So um, theoretically, so if uh, in November, so you may be able to create a vector index in Python on the free tier. So right now, it is uh, you can create a vector index in Python if you are using the paid version like M M8 or M10, um, but not M0, so not free tier. But I think after this uh, update, you will be able to create index in Python. So uh, so now since we are still not uh, October, so we are still in October, not November, so I'm going to show you how to create index uh, manually. So we just copy and paste this um, a JSON document, and then we go back to the MongoDB website. It's called Atlas. Uh, we're going to go to Atlas search, and we're going to create a search index. Uh, so there are two types of index. One is called Atlas search. This one is like you can perform the text search. So uh, it even import uh, fuzzy match, etc. However, it is not the semantic search. So if you want to search based on the like semantic meanings, um, then you need to use this vector search. Uh, so here we go to next. You need to specify which collection you're going to build this uh, index. So we are going to use a tweet collection. And this is where you're going to define the index. So I'm going to paste that JSON document. Uh, so let me copy and paste one more time. Copy and paste. So basically you can tell it's just asking you what is the type of index. It's a vector uh, index. Uh, where is your embedding? So that is in my Twitter.embedding field. What is the number of the dimensions? It's 1536. Uh, that is because we are using OpenAI uh, embedding models. So uh, by default, uh, the dimension is 1536. And also the similarities, so that how do you want to mirror the similarities? Uh, 
based on OpenAI, so uh, the recommended is cosine. However, you can also choose the other uh, similarity functions, uh, but based like dot product, but OpenAI documents recommended using cosine. All right, so let's go next, and we we are going to build this uh, vector index. Uh, again, it will also take uh, a few minutes so that uh, the index will be uh, complete. So I'm going to pause the video here again. Okay, and actually it, it didn't take like one minute. So now you can see that the, uh, the index is ready. Uh, so now we can start to do the queries. So again, we have a function called vector search. Basically, you, you type a query and we convert the query into the same embedding by using the same embedding model. And then we just use this uh, vector search pipeline. So we are using our vector index, which uh, the query vector is the, uh, is the query embedding. So we convert the user, user query into, uh, into another uh, vector. We say we are going to search the, based on the Twitter embedding. And we can search like the nearest uh, 1,000 tweets. But we just retain the top 10 uh, most uh, relevant tweets. And here are the written results. So that's kind of benefit of using the MongoDB. So because they are all stored in the same collection, so I don't need to you know uh, convert embedding into into words. I just uh, grab the, the existing text, tweet text. So in, in this case, I'm going to retain the tweet text. Um, uh, so that so those are just the top ten matched uh, tweet text. Uh, so let's do a very simple example. So here uh, I'm uh, going to do a query that it's uh, so support one candidate of the election um, because our tweets collected were collected based on the keywords of election. So uh, they are like less than one week uh, uh, of the U.S. Uh, presidential election. So I'm going to do the query that find all the tweets that support Harris. Uh, one and here you can see those are the retained tweets so um, uh, okay uh, and we can see we have a lot of similar tweets at it because one tweet got popular and a lot of people are retweeting that tweets uh, let's also try another candidate okay so support Trump okay and now you can see those are the top 10 tweets that uh, express support uh, to another candidate, uh, Trump. Okay. Um, all right. So that is a, a back search. Uh, looks like it's, a, it's very um, effective. So now we're going to implement our uh, rack. So, uh, so here we're going to build a chatbot. And where you can see, uh, first we the first message is a system message. We see that your chat, uh, chatbot answer questions based on the return tweets. And then we define the the chatbot function. So uh, we will receive the user uh, query, and the user query will be the first uh, user message. And then we are going to do a vector search. So based on the user query, so for example, the user can be like support Harris or support Trump. And then we'll repass that retained tweets into a second uh, system message. Uh, so you can see here are the retained tweets. And also we use a delimiter to separate uh, uh, the other messages. So just like make sure that uh, large language model is understand those are the retained tweets. And then we're going to pass all the messages into this chat completion endpoint. Uh, we set temperature to be zero, and also we set model to be GPT-40. Okay, so that is uh, our uh, chatbot function. Okay, so now we're going to uh, to talk with a chatbot. So uh, we're going to use uh, we're using a while loop. So now you can ask questions. So like, uh, how do people support Trump. Okay, so we know that now first we retrieve the, the top 10 tweets uh, that support Trump, and also we pass that one along with this uh, query to OpenAI, and those are the written messages. So 
based on written tweets, support for Trump can come in various forms. So like, um, okay. Um, and also I'm going to ask another question. How do people support Harris? Okay, so another candidate. Okay, uh, so you can say based on the return tweets, support for Harris, okay, in those different ways. All right, so this is a very simple example that using uh, RAC uh, with, in la with large language model. So we first built a vector database, uh, so we create embeddings uh, from our collected tweets. Uh, and then we build a, a vector index uh, so that we can use this vector search. And then we combined this vector database into our uh, chat um, so that every time when user asks a question, we, we first we search the, our vector database, find out the most relevant tweets uh, close to the, to the user questions, and then we combine the written tweets together with user questions. Uh, pass that one to uh, GPT-4, and GPT-4 will uh, provide more accurate uh, responses.